Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to show you how to get your hub registered and get all of our links tied to it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is wanna make sure that our ethernet cable and power are run to the hub. What's great about the link is it doesn't have to have an ethernet connection. It can also be a Wi-Fi enabled device. However, today we're gonna to do the ethernet connection. So next, what we're gonna do is go to our GrowLink app and go to the settings button, at the top right hand corner, and then we're gonna hit add new hardware. From there, this might just take a second just to get into the menu. And then what we're gonna do next is add the hub. So we're gonna hit add new controller up at the top. We're gonna select uh, set up an ethernet device down there at the bottom. And then it's gonna ask us to scan the QR code on the front. Now it's gonna start registering the hub. This might just take a few minutes, well, maybe like a few seconds, but just don't exit out of this menu. Let it just go through its process and we'll be moving on to the next step here in just a second. Great, next it's gonna ask us to name it. We're just gonna keep the name the same for today. Next, it's gonna ask us to select a room. Right now we have no room set up, so let's go ahead and create a new one. This is gonna be the virtual environment in which all the links are gonna live. Perfect. All right, now it's gonna start registering the link to the account and kind of going through its whole setup process. Again, gonna just take a couple of seconds, so we'll just be patient with it. And then while we're waiting for that, we're gonna go ahead, hook up our first link. All we gotta do is plug in the ethernet cable. Beautiful. All right, next it's gonna ask us to uh, just set up some basic stuff about the, the hub. We're not gonna do that for today. Let's go ahead and just hit save. Great, back to the home screen. Let's go ahead and get back to settings. Go back to the add new hardware. However, this time we're gonna hit the bottom one, add a new device to this room. Select the hub we're working on. Great, and it's detected our first link. So this is the valve link. This is used for controlling solenoids for irrigation or CO2. This one does require a power supply, uh, but what's nice about it is it doesn't require the hub to function. It can be a Wi-Fi standalone device. So when we look at the UI that it pulled in, we have output and select device type. Output is just the name of the output. You can change that simply by tapping on it and typing in your new name. For the device type, you can click on this and you'll get a drop down list. You can just select whatever type of device you're hooking up to it and then it'll save it. So that's it. that takes care of that link. Let's just go ahead and move to the next one. I'm just gonna hit add next down there at the bottom and then plug in our quad link. So the quad link is used for controlling 120 volt devices. This one does need to be plugged in. However, it can act as a standalone device. It doesn't need the hub. Same thing here. Tap on the output to change the name and then tap on the selected uh, device type to get your list of what you're hooking up to it. Let's go ahead, hit add next. And let's go ahead and hook up our batch tank link. Batch tank link is used for monitoring batch tanks, EC, pH, temperature, water levels, all done by this link. It also has a very cool uh, screen on the front for just quick uh, knowledge of what is going on with that device. Again, gonna show us all of our factors that we're monitoring and we can change the names if we want to, but today we're just gonna move on to our next link. Batch tank link can also be a standalone device as long as you plug it in to its own power supply. Next, four channel light link. This is used for controlling lights and spectrum control with zero to 10 volt signals. So you can change the intensity of anything just through the app. Again, we're gonna get outputs and the device types that we can select from, but we're just gonna go ahead, move on to the next device today. One thing to note about the four channel link is that it does require a hub to function. Same with the relay link and also the digital light link, which we'll get to in a second. So the relay link is what we just hooked up. This is a set of dry contact relays. This is good for controlling uh, humidifiers, dehumidifiers that source their own voltage. 
Again, pulled right in, same customization as the rest of them. Let's go ahead, plug in our next link. Next link is the digital light link. This is used for protocol driven lights. Uh, FOS, Think Grow. What's great is once it pulls into the system, you can see that its menu gives you a little drop down. You can select who you're gonna be using and then select it, save it, easy as that. Lastly, we're gonna set up our Canopy Link. Canopy Link has eight different inputs. Typically, what you're gonna be doing with this link is monitoring environmental conditions and substrate conditions. Once you plug it in, if you have a climate link hooked up to it, you're going to hear its fan turn on, and then you'll see that it immediately pulls it in, and if you need to rename any of the factors that it's monitoring, you can do it right here. Next, it's gonna pull up the TerraLink sensor. You can see there, same thing as all the other ones, you can rename it if you want, but we're just gonna go ahead and hit add next. And that actually completes the setup of this hardware. So I'm just gonna say that I've completed the registration by hitting the all links connected. And now we're gonna wait for it to build the virtual room. This should just take a few seconds. While we're waiting for the room to get built, let's go ahead and look at our new climate link sensor. Uh, this is our first aspirated sensor. So if you look here, we actually have a fan in there, pushing air through this. This is the filter cap, just connected by magnets. So really easy to service if you ever need to replace that filter. Really cool new innovation. Great, now the room's been created. So first page you're gonna see is all of our sensors. Next we can hit devices, see everything that we had connected. And that's it, this is my grow room. I'd be fully automated right now. Really appreciate you guys spending time with me today. We look forward to working with you and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, bye.